In this Adobe Photoshop CC tutorial, we will learn how to save an image for the web and for print. Before we get started, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications. Hello everyone! In this fourth tutorial of Photoshop Basics, we will learn how to save an image for the web and for print. So number one, save an image for the web. Export for web, select file type, and save image. And number two, save image for print. Image size, select file type, and save image. Let's get started with save image for web. The smaller the size of an image, the faster it will be uploaded if it is intended for a use on the web. The Save for Web function allows us to save our images in a compressed format, deleting all unnecessary image information and allowing a reduction of the file weight. Thanks to this function, we can upload photos online, creating web galleries or sharing our photos on social networks in a fast way and without losing image quality. So let's see how this works. Number one, export for web. First of all, make all the adjustments on your image. When you are satisfied and finished, go to File, Export, and Save for Web and click on it. And this new window will open. In this window, we see all the necessary options to save our image. Number two, select file type. Go to the top right of the window. Right underneath the preset, you will be able to pick the file type. Click on the drop down menu and make sure the JPEG format is selected. Right below it, you can select the compression quality you want to give your image. So click on the drop down menu and select medium. Medium is a good balance between the image quality and the image size. When you're done, click on the Save button on the bottom of the window. Number 3. Save Image When you click on the Save button, a new window will open. Here, you can enter the file name, and select the destination folder where you want to save your image. When you're done, click on the Save button again. And your image will be saved in your computer. If you open the folder where you've saved your image, you will find your image ready to be uploaded online. Click on the Properties to see all the details about your image. Now let's learn how to save an image for print. During the printing process, every single pixel of the image will be analyzed. So obviously a higher number of pixels will correspond to a better print. If the image we are going to transfer on paper has a low resolution, it is possible that the final result will not satisfy us. Let's go over file types and settings. Number one, image size. First of all, let's go to image, image size. The image size window will open. Let's check out the image size, which is the width and the height of the image. If we decide to make the image size bigger, then we should definitely 
make the resolution higher with it. So go ahead and check the image resolution. And I would put at least 300 ppi. In the previous video, we specifically go over the image size and the resolution. Click on the link on the top right corner of the video to check it out. Back to our image size panel. Now that you've changed your image resolution to 300 ppi, if you reduce the image size instead of making it bigger, do not worry about the resolution. You don't have to lower it with it, because by making the image smaller, you would definitely not lose any image quality. Number 2. File Type When you're done, close your image size panel by pressing OK. Now it's time to save our printing file. Go to File, Save As, and a new window will open. Enter the file name, then go to File Type and click on the drop down menu. Here we can see all the different file types. Select the TIFF format. TIFF is a non-compressed image file type. It maintains all of the image information. In one of my previous videos, I cover all of these different file types one by one. Click on the link on the top right of the video to check it out. Number 3. Save Image After you've entered the file name, selected the file type, and decided the destination folder of your image, press the Save button. Then press OK to complete the saving process. Our image is ready to be printed, and if we've entered a big enough image size and a high pixel density, then we should have no problems when we print our image. Now that we've saved the same image twice, the first time for web and the second time for print, if we open the image property panel of each one of these images, we can see that there's a very big difference in the size. The image that we've saved for the web is only 694 kilobytes. Instead, the one that we've saved for the print is 25 megabytes. We are finished in this tutorial. Thank you for watching. I hope you found it useful and stay tuned for more videos. Don't forget to check out our previous tutorials on Adobe Photoshop PC. From the very first time you open it to some quick tips and file types to image size and resolution.